Well, good morning, Otis, and how are you this morning? You ready for a little walk? Here we are at Duddingston. It's early morning, and I thought I'd just take you for a little walk. Say early morning, it's just gone seven o'clock, it's not really that early. Otis and I are just going to take a little walk through the town and have a look at the Christmas lights. So this is the old Glasgow Road at Erringston's old parish church. Now I see the post office, oh sorry, the post office box has still got, the letterbox has still got its berry. And as you can see by the clock on the church, it is ten past seven. It's so dark up here, it is pitch black still. There's Tunnix in the background. Come on, this way with this. Oh. Here's the start of the Christmas lights. It's not a very big town, so uh, there isn't really a, a grand area of Christmas illuminations. And this is the main crossroads opposite the Tunnex building. And there you can see the tree. Very festive. And there we got a few lights. Some snowflakes, some Santa Clauses, Santa's stocking, and some baubles hanging from the street lights. And I'm just checking out all the smells. And we'll carry on past Bells Hill and down the main street. More smells, Otis? Good boy. <laughs> And the Tunnex delivery has arrived. I think it's only that. Ah, you'll be jumping everywhere. <laughs> yeah. We'll pop in here later. It's a good boy. And then the competition of Greg's. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. 
that. And this is very, oh, you're full of beans this morning. He's eager to come for his run. He hasn't had his run yet. So, The moon is just a small clipping in the sky, floating in the, the atmosphere. down to the sort of secondary shopping area known as Addison's Main Street and uh, this is where all the takeaways are and this is Panda big shout out to Panda because uh, we had fruit from there last night absolutely beautiful I think he had a, a chicken chow mein I had a duck chop suey, which was very nice indeed. And Otis, he had dog food. As you may notice, I'm uh, back on the lead. I managed to repair the handle. It's. Um, not as good as it should be, but uh, it's sufficient at the moment. I'll have to get a new one sometime soon. You see the, uh, the typical tenement buildings until we're on the outskirts of Glasgow. Still having Glasgow style ten tenements. The tenement building is basically um, old style flats. They can be um, up to four bedrooms in a flat. They're uh, quite large. Very tall ceilings too. You're talking uh, good 10 foot ceilings. Come on Otis. And then you got to Stefan's Italian, which is very nice. We've not tried there yet. And next door you've got uh, Yokuso, which is the, uh, the ladies' hairstylist, where Vicky had her hair done, I think, um, a couple of times ago we were up. One thing I have noticed about Lenningston is the strong smell of... Uh, Cannabis. <laughs> Mind you, with uh, the amount of daylight that they don't get here, I'm not surprised. I think I'd want to taste the cannabis as well if I was living up here that long. <laughs> okay, so this is the, uh, the final stretch of shops. Um, as we uh, sort of leave the other end of Ernington Main Street. Okay, we're just this way.
And here's the uh, the local model shop for the avid model enthusiasts. They actually sell uh, bridge control boat and aeroplane parts as well, along with Corgi, Hornby, Skeletric, and uh, Kyosho parts. And then don't know Mr. Rice. Apparently this isn't the best of Chinese, the Panda House, or Panda is the uh, is the better of the two. But I've not tried Mr. Rice yet, so maybe we'll try that sometime. And this is Angel's Hotel. keeps wandering off into the dark shadows. It's difficult to uh, keep him in focus uh, with, with such little light. You all may recognise this particular part of the road. Oh, we've had food from Enzo's before as well. Yes, that's the fish and chip shop. Yeah, they sell lots of things. Do you know they don't sell unbattered food? No. Strange. Well, I find it strange. Apparently it's normal up here. You ask for a sausage without batter, <laughs> they look at you as if you're alien. And here we are, coming up towards the railway station. And we've been here before. I think on the last visit, I made a small video of the railway station. Let's see if we can turn the, uh, the backlight on at all. Wait there, Otis. There you go. I think I mentioned and commented last time how wonderful these old stations are and it's great to see that they're they're still in use not been bulldozed and metal tin shacks been built instead like the one in Newport That way, we Otis. Okay, he's got a plan in mind. Not sure where it is, but Otis has a plan. <clears throat> Good boy, on me way Otis. It's only a short walk this morning. Just to give him a little bit of exercise. And then we're, uh, we're going to head off to the, um, the River Clyde later on. Up towards the Erskine Bridge. And take a little walk up that way.
and the next train for Edinburgh is at 7.30 which is on time Fancy that, not a tenet or an iron brew inside. This way, Otis. Well, thanks for joining Otis and I this morning on our adventure walking around Eddingston. So, until next time, all the best. Bye bye. Please click on the like, subscribe, and notification bell. And don't forget to leave some comments. Bye. Mm -hmm.